Hello and welcome to this video. This time I want to show you how you can automate your workflows using Microsoft Power Automate and AI Builder. What is Power Automate? Formerly known as Microsoft Flow, Microsoft Power Automate is part of Microsoft's Power Platform and is a solution for low-code workflow automation, which means um, it provides a point-and-click experience where you can create such flows and there are no developer skills needed. The great thing is that Power Automate is included in most um, Microsoft 365 plans. So you probably can start right away building your own automated workflows. Power Automate uses so-called connectors to connect to a variety of data sources. At the moment, there are more than 300 of these available, for example, Outlook or SharePoint. Each connector con consists of several trigger, for example, email received, and actions, like add a file to a SharePoint location. In addition to the standard connectors, there are premium connectors like SAP or Dynamics, which also require a certain licensing plan. And Microsoft provides a licensing guide for that, so that you can have a look what do you need to be able to use such premium connectors. Let's have a look on the different types of Power Automate flows. The first one is Automated Flows. Automated flows perform one or more tasks automatically after it's triggered by an event, like in this screenshot when a new email arrives. The next one is button flows. Button flows let you run repetitive tasks from any place at any time via your mobile device and the Power Automate app. You can even use real physical buttons to trigger these button flows. If you want to perform one or more tasks on a schedule, use scheduled flows. If you want to define a set of steps for users to follow to take them to a desired outcome, then use business process flows. As you can see in the screenshot, it provides a step-by-step -step guided UI. And the last type is UI flows. UI flows provide a so-called robotic process automation, RPA, which lets you record and playback user interface actions. With UI flows, you can automate processes with legacy applications, which do not provide appropriate APIs or where it is too expensive to build APIs. To add intelligence to your automated processes, you can use Microsoft's AI Builder. AI Builder is also part of Microsoft's Power Platform and it brings AI capabilities through a point and click experience without coding and data science skills. AI Builder provides several AI models, for example, the entity extraction model. This is the one I will use in this demo video, which automatically detects entities like phone number, for example, in a given text. Another AI model is object detection for automatically extracting information about objects in a given picture, like you can see here in the screenshot, um, picture with different kinds of T. The form processing model automatically extracts information out of documents like invoices or purchase orders provided as PDF or JPEG files. There are a few more AI models available for this AI builder. And if you're interested, just have a look at Microsoft's documentation. Regarding licensing, AI builder capabilities are licensed as add-on to your existing Power Automate or Power App license. Now let's have a look at this thing in action. My demo scenario is about registering online for an event. 
The participant called demo user registers with an email address on a website for an event. After registration, the event website sends an email notification to the organizer, me. The organizer has to pick the participant's email and update the event in his Outlook account with the participant's email, all manually. Luckily, there is Power Automate. As soon as the registration notification arrives in the organizer's inbox, a Power Automate flow is triggered. This flow automatically picks the participant's email address and adds it to the Outlook event, and I can focus more on important work. Now we are here in the event organizer's Outlook inbox. And let's have a look in the calendar. We see there's an event on Friday and with no participants yet. Now I got a registration notification email and let's assume this email comes from the event website. If you have a look at this email, there's the event name and the date, where, date of the event, the participant's name and the email, email address of the participant. So now the Power Automate flow is automatically triggered and in a few seconds we should see that this user was added to the Outlook event. Now we see that Power Automate flow automatically added the participant to this event on Friday 26th. If we have a look at the Outlook inbox of the participant, we see that the participant automatically got an invitation to this event and he can add it to his calendar, Outlook calendar. Now let's have a detailed look at the Power Automate flow, what's what's actually happening. So for that I'm here in the online version, web version of Office and I click on Power Automate, opens up the Power Automate app and I open up my event registration Power Automate flow. Here's an, an, an overview and a history of executions and I can have a detailed look what what exactly happened and which data ran through this Power Automate flow. Here we have five minutes ago. So this is the Power Automate flow I used for this demo scenario and as we already heard the flow needs a trigger event and this trigger event is for example the Outlook trigger email received. As soon as uh, my, my inbox gets an email with a certain subject then this flow is triggered. After that the, the email body is converted to text, to plain text, as you can see here. And this, this plain email body text is then handed over to the AI model entity extraction, which we already talked about. This AI model extracts entities from a given text. So as you can see here, this is the email input text and here we have the extracted entities of that AI model. For example, the event name or we have the email entity with the participant's email. So let's 
skip the few actions. Here we have another Outlook action called get calendar view of events, which is looking for for the event in my Outlook calendar using the extracted date of the event and the event name. If the action finds an uh, appropriate Outlook event, then the Power Automate flow tries to update this, this event with the participant's email. As you can see here. Now I got a new registration email which is not matching to the Outlook event. The date is not matching. So this should lead to an error while processing the Power Automate flow. A few seconds later, the Power Automate flow flags the registration email and um, sends me a notification that it was not possible to add the participant to the Outlook event. So I have to do it manually now. Back in the last execution of the Power Automate flow, um, we can see that this time the event was not successfully found. Instead, the Power Automate flow sent me a notification. Hey, there's a problem adding the participant and flag flag the participant's registration email. To sum up, Power Automate is a powerful tool to automate your workflows quick and easy. And use AI Builder to bring some intelligence to your flows through a point and click experience. Definitely worth to have a look at. Thank you for watching this video and if you want to get in contact with us, Check out our websites, YouTube channels or LinkedIn.